Did you know that there's a state of desire more powerful than love? Would you like to know how to unlock that hidden desire inside any man's mind? My name is Amy North and I'm going to teach you a magical set of words that I call a devotion sequence that will force a man to feel a level of desire for you beyond love. The moment you say this strange sequence of words to a man, he will feel an emotional connection to you so powerful that his heart will be bound to you and only you. And when I say beyond love, I'm talking about the type of relentless devotion that you only see in romance novels and Hollywood movies. The kind of strange obsession so intense that the thought of leaving you for another woman will be completely unimaginable to him. In fact, I want to issue you a little challenge. Watch this entire video to the very end and use my devotion sequence on any man, even the man that despises you and watch how quickly he becomes spellbound by the very sight of you. So addicted to you that he finds himself dreaming about you all day long, and so enchanted by you that he'll sweep you off your feet and beg to be with you forever. It doesn't matter if you're not naturally beautiful or charming either, because once you know this secret, any man will feel his pulse quickening and his mind racing whenever he's around you. It doesn't matter if your heart has been shattered into a million pieces, because now you will have the tools to find a truer, deeper connection. Tools so powerful, even the man who abandoned you will do anything to win your love again or become overwhelmed by sorrow and regret. And it doesn't matter if you're single or not because my devotion sequence will even work on your cold, distant husband or boyfriend and make him grow so psychologically connected to you that you'll swear to never leave your side for as long as you live. So how do I know these words will work for you? Because I have not only taught this exact same trick to hundreds of women around the world, but also I serve as living proof. Just take a minute to listen to my short story and I promise it'll leave you speechless. I can't believe you found the man you've always wanted, my best friend Catherine said to me. We giggled and gossiped every Sunday morning over tea. I couldn't help myself but brag about how I'd found the most amazing man I had ever met. The man I knew I wanted to marry and be with for the rest of my life. We met one summer at my cousin's beach party. His name was Derek and the moment he looked at me, I felt chills travel up my spine. When he approached me, I could feel my hands quivering and my cheeks burning. And when he said hello in his low masculine voice, I felt like I was under his spell. He was tall and athletic in those eyes. I couldn't stop staring into the depths of his perfect hazel eyes. As summer wore on, I began spending more and more time with Derek. I felt like he was the one, the man I'd been waiting for my entire life. The sex was raw, hot, and passionate. And even in my wildest dreams, I never knew that I could share such an intimate connection with another person. And I couldn't remember the last time I felt this buzz of joy and infatuation flooding through my entire body. But months wore on and something deeply disturbing began happening. The newness of our relationship started wearing off and Derek began getting colder and more distant towards me. He started ignoring my phone calls and text messages. And during the times we were together, I felt like Derek's mind was somewhere else. It was almost like he was fantasizing about another woman when he looked at me. Now, I know infatuation doesn't last forever, but I knew this feeling all too well. I sensed Derek totally disconnecting from me, and I was terrified. I think he's just a player, said Catherine. I'd forget about him. But no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't stop thinking about the passionate connection that we shared that summer. And there was no way I'd forget those alluring hazel eyes. I decided that enough was enough, and I didn't want to lose the man that had made me feel so special and alive. So one day I decided to surprise him with his favorite home-cooked meal. But little did I know that what was about to happen would change my life forever. I walked in through the front door of his house, excited to see him. But then something awfully strange happened. I heard a soft, peculiar voice coming from his bedroom. Curious, I slowly made my way upstairs and peered through the cracked bedroom door. And what I saw next made my legs buckle and my heart explode. I saw Catherine and Derek, naked, alone, and making love right before my very eyes. I pressed my fist against my lips and let out an ugly scream, and boy, did they ever hear me. I have never seen two people scramble so furiously in my entire life. I couldn't believe it. My best friend was sleeping with the man that I thought I wanted to spend my entire life with, and I was mortified. What happened next was almost a complete blur, but I remember sprinting as fast as I could out of the door and into my car, and then I yelled into my steering wheel until I lost my voice. I couldn't sleep for days, let alone eat. My horror transformed into ferocious rage, then into depression and sadness. But I wasn't going to let this happen to me. No, I was sick and tired of being treated poorly by men. I was tired of getting my heart broken, and I was 100% finished with dating guys that were complete losers. 